driven by a lust for power and glory. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Ah, uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I like talking with you, Liara. <laughs> no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. No idea what you're talking about. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual no, exchange. Did. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. So we Thoughts did, didn't and we? senses merge, oh, identities gosh, intertwine. Right? Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. You Asari can live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner grows old and dies? Some unions are a single encounter between two willing individuals. But there are cases where an Asari okay, and her so partner they don't... choose to remain yeah. together. When that happens, we do not focus on the inevitable loss. Instead, we enjoy the time we are given. And even after a partner has passed on, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. Oh, it is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106. <laughs> Barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. I should go. Ciao! Goodbye, Shepard. Okay, let's... Oh, I didn't have to replenish anything, it seems. Did I get any more? No, I didn't get any more stuff. Okay, so there's no one left here on this thing. Well, Caden used to be here, but not anymore. How is he? Nope. And elevator again. Um. Oh, got okay, for a moment there. I thought it crashed. I'll be selling stuff, by the way. When oh, hello. <laughs> It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, How the fuck did you survive and he didn't? Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Do you have anything? Didn't I buy this? Oh no, they're new. Blah 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 blah. Well, since you only have three things, I <laughs> I feel the need to buy them all. But what does it do? Not very that good, is it? Assault rifle. 
Oof, I don't know if that's good. But it will still be here when I'm checking it later, so. Commander. Things got heated back Yeah, you still haven't hugged me. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. I love it. you too, Rex. <laughs> so long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, Ashley. Commander. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. Where I'm are my in command scars? of this mission. I They're made not the call, very not distinguishable. you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Do you have a few minutes to talk? Probably say no. One on one. I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? <laughs> Alenko's <laughs> death? <laughs> that would be so awful. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason Bob, for the crap Bob assignments. Is like amazing or something. Yeah. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO Stop calling me Skipper. to me. Thanks, Skipper. I'm sure Kirhi wants to brief you. I should get out of your hair. No, she didn't. Do you have a few minutes to talk? Now. One on one? Yeah. I should get back to no. the duty, Skipper. Ma'am. Why could I. Commander? Oh, We've no, it's a different thing. Ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming, and we know about their indoctrination. Nobody believes us, though. plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to yep. shoot back. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Yep, yep. Sup, guys? Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll Think ever we find found him. But he's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn Geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. He really is very can't impatient, stand the isn't he? I thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you sure. something, Commander? What is it? Are you 
worried that the council might be protecting no, him. No, not really. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. I was opinion, always planning on shooting him in the head alive. when I found them. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. <laughs> if Saren won't listen to reason, he kind of already did hand, that in a heartbeat, but only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape Hannah or has convince a point. the council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm the last person. Feels like we're getting near the end. No, we have tons of cyclists. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without really, you, Tali. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. You're welcome. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I okay! So... See you later. That's all for now. I'm gonna go sell a bunch of shit. And next time we'll do something else, I guess. See you guys next time. Bye!